It's time for Dutch Oven Cooking with C-Dub. Here's your host, C.W. Butch Welch. We're going to go back over here and make our laser stew. And our laser stew you can make with your, uh, over a campfire. We're going to use our uh, camp stove here today. We're going to get our Dutch oven set there and let me swap out my rig in here real quick. Get this stuff out of our way. And uh, we're going to take uh, just one of our Hat Trick Premium Sweet Onions and uh, cut that up. And as old Tony says, the quicker you want to eat, the, the finer you cut all of this stuff. So we're going to do our onion. Kind of cut that in wedges and then just come in on the top there and cut those. Okay, and we've got some red potatoes here, and we're just going to drain them. And one of the advantages of doing this outside, you do that in the house, and then you're going to go get your mop. We're going to set gonna this do is we're going to go here. ahead and get our burner lit. And one of the things, a real word of caution when using aluminum Dutch ovens, you don't want to leave that on uh, the burner very long without a liquid in it. Now we're going to use a dark beer. You could, uh, if you don't like to cook with beer, uh, you could use a non-owl or chicken broth or beef broth. And, you know, it, it almost looks ridiculous. This thing is so simple. We're just going to take our potatoes, put those in there, our onions, and actually we've got some garlic here. Let's just go ahead and get all of that put in there and uh, we're not going to brown our stew we're just going to or our, brown our meat like we did with the Italian lentil stew we're just going to go ahead and uh, crumble this up and this is one of those quick meals yet I don't know how many times we fixed this for folks and they can't believe how simple it is and how good it is. Okay, so we've got our meat in there and we'll add our, uh, the other beer. My hands are getting slick sometimes. You have to use a, the whole apron. Okay, and all we're gonna do, you could season this any way you wanted but we're just going to use some salt and pepper. And uh, we're going to sit here and just let this simmer, put the lid on. Like I said, you could do this over a campfire, but we're using our camp stove here this afternoon. Okay, so let's go here to our laser stew to start with. And that is just about done. Let's turn that down to low. And uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take and just over the top, go with some slices of uh, Swiss cheese. And as you can tell, it's getting pretty warm out here, and our cheese is getting tired. But, hey, it was going to melt anyway. So uh, we'll get this on, and we'll turn the heat off. And uh, this will be ready to serve. 